This is a quick guide on the fastest XP making method in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. I've tested this against other methods I've found online and this is by far the fastest for gaining XP and it doesn't use any glitch at all. If you're a better shot than me, faster at setting this up and you survive longer than me, you can earn an average of over 200 XP per minute doing this. So that's a potential for over 12,000 XP per hour. These figures take into account setup time as well. With all the tips and tricks I mentioned in this video, I managed to get an average of 176 XP per minute. And I'm sure a lot of you can get much higher than that and hit 200 XP per minute or even more. I actually went full nerd when I was researching this video and made a spreadsheet and everything. So feel free to pause and admire or mock me, up to you. But essentially this breaks down the XP rates I was getting per minute, per hour, etc. Alongside a comparison to showdown rates when I was performing well, getting wins and MVP awards as well. And the research behind this method is the reason that I know that this is the fastest way of gaining XP. I'm not just clickbaiting you with this title. If this isn't the fastest method, then please do let me know. Link it in the comments and I'll pin it to the top so people can see it because this video is designed to give you the fastest XP making method. But as of the time this video was uploaded, I'm pretty confident that there is no method that's quicker than this. So this is a law men killing method, which you may have seen a lot on YouTube already, but due to the location, the spawn rates of the police officers and other tips within the video, the XP rates for this are very high. Doing this is also a lot more enjoyable than waiting for police to climb a ladder just so you can execute them at the top. You can also do this with a partner. I've not tried it with three or more people. So if you do give this a go with three or more, then please let me know how that goes. I will say though that unlike Showdown that gains you both money and gold, this method will cost you about $5 per 10 minutes. It could cost more than this if you decide to use a lot of tonics or explosives, but on average, you're looking at about $5 per 10 minutes. To start this method, you first of all need to go to Blackwater. There are a few ways to stop griefers killing you when you do this. I won't go into details about how to avoid griefers in this video due to time, but there is a link in the description to a video that explains more about that. So when you get to Blackwater, make sure your health and your dead eye core is full. You can do this by eating whatever you've got in your satchel. After this, if you're level 31 or higher, then buy express rounds because these will give you an extra five XP per kill for the special ammo reward. And then choose your weapons. My personal loadout and what I've found best to use is a repeater, a varmint rifle for when it gets a little bit busier. And I also dual wield a sawn off shotgun and a pistol that also has express rounds in it. Having a shotgun is really worth it for when the lawmen get quite close to you because you can just get rid of these really quickly and not have to worry too much about the headshot. The sawn off is really useful just for saving a long arm slot. Really at the end of the day, the weapon choices are down to you, but go for ones that you find easiest to get headshots with. So once you've done all this, head to this spot on the map. So that's on the docks to the northeast corner of Blackwater. When you're here, get yourself a wanted level by killing a pedestrian and allow the witnesses to run into town. You'll know which ones the witnesses are because usually they're screaming and also they appear as a red eye on the map. And then once you've done this, either take cover behind these barrels and boxes, or you can use this spot slightly further back that's got a little bit more protection from the left. It's really up to you. If you are using the front spot, then the barrels are best to hide behind because the sandbags sometimes block off your auto aim. But just get rid of this box here. And then as the lawmen come to this spot, just kill them using a headshot. The reason this spot is so effective is because there's a limited area that the lawmen can spawn. So they'll only come from the left, down the road ahead of you and occasionally from the right. Because you've got the water behind you, they'll never be able to get round the back of you as long as you're cautious enough not to let them run up onto the dock and sneak behind you. You won't find any lawmen spawning in the water and swimming over to the beach to try and get you that way. And that's why this is so effective. So some quick tips to improve the XP rates are just before you shoot them in the head, quickly click the right stick to go into Deadeye. So for every kill you get in Deadeye, you'll get an extra five XP. Also prioritize the enemies on horseback because killing these will also give you an extra five XP through saddle saw. So if you use special ammo, Deadeye, and headshot an enemy on horseback, then you'll get a total of 25 XP for that one kill. If you are lower than level 31, you can still get a lot of XP in this area. Just because you don't have special ammo, it's not the end of the world. So because you're gonna be using so much dead eye, it's worth equipping the ability card an eye for an eye. What the card does is restore a little bit of dead eye for every headshot that you get, which ultimately allows you to stay in dead eye longer and get more plus five XP, which will then improve your XP per minute. For some reason, when the law run across this road, I don't know what it is, there's some sort of magical force that puts a uniform on them, but they seem to do a little transformation just as they cross this road. I think that's just a little bit of rock star logic for you. So the most likely ways that you'll get killed when doing this method is by the lawmen or the horses to the left, this spot up high in front of you, or if police get up onto the dock. 
So just focus your fire on these three areas to survive as long as possible. Because the longer you survive, the more XP you learn per minute as you won't have to reset as often. So on average, I survived eight minutes 30 in this spot. And this includes the few times that I got griefed early on. When you eventually die a bit from one of these three spots or when the marshal's men show up and headshot you, after your death, you need to restore your cores, get more ammo, and then you can go again. And you can just keep doing this as long as you like. Although there's no gunsmith in Blackwater, you can use your catalogue to order ammunition, which you can then collect from the post office. So I buy the ammunition in bulk to make the resetting as fast as possible. Unlike grinding story missions, for me, this didn't get boring at all, especially when I was doing it with a partner. Shout out Lulu401. Hit up that Insta. If I'm missing anything or anyone can think of anything that can make this method even more effective, then please let me know. With all the research and the stats I've gathered for this video, it's easily the most time I've spent working on a video. So any extra tips that you've got would be great for both me and the rest of the community on this channel. And if you're having problems with griefers, as a lot of people are on Red Dead Online, then there is a link in the description or you can click the screen now to watch a video on that. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. Quick guides that try not to waste your time, basically, as well as other Red Dead Redemption content. And if it helped you out, then please like the video as well. I'm Jane Cookie. Cheers.